My name is Paul Dunn. I'm an Incident Intelligence Officer for Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service. Uh, part of the Incident Intelligence Officer's role is to investigate the more serious types of fires across the county, uh, those involving casualties or large property loss, for example. And we're also interested in uh, emerging trends, such as uh, candle fires. The one particular incident I investigated over the Christmas period was involving uh, a teenager called Curtis who lived in, in Accrington. He'd gone round to his uh, auntie's house for early, early evening celebration prior to, to New Year. Um, it was pretty particularly cold, he was wearing a, a thin cotton shirt, loose fitting shirt. Um, he'd entered the house feeling a bit cold, as you do, you go over to a radiator and lean on the radiator. Unbeknown to Curtis, there were some tea lights, not dissimilar to this type, which is, his auntie had placed on the, on, the, on, the, on, on the windowsill. He leant against the radiator and one of the tea lights set fire to the back of his shirt. Um, and this is the shirt he was, Curtis was actually wearing. He suffered serious burns to his back, which required skin grafts. My arm was 25% burnt which is the most severe, and my back was 12 to 18, I think. I don't remember the specifics. And then I spent five days in, and I've been recovering since. Nothing, nothing at all can prepare for that. Well, these days people tend to put candles in the houses to set a mood or ambience. One of the most popular types of candles and one which gives us probably the most concern is the, the tea light candle. With that metal surround, when hot, isn't in a, in a container, it's, uh, it will damage the, 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 the piece of furniture it's standing on. In the case of Curtis's incident, the candle wasn't in a holder. And because it wasn't in a holder, he didn't see it. You know, it doesn't exactly stand out. It's just common sense really with regarding candles. Um, always put them in a, a container, uh, such as a, on a heat resistant uh, dish or in a jam jar, such as that, uh, which limits the accessibility for children and also for draping things like uh, loose fitting clothing. Other candles, they come in all shapes and sizes as I was saying. As you can see by this one, it's um, started to slump over and what you can have if you forget to blow them out at night that can, can fall and then the actual wick will, will fall with the, the melted wax say across a carpet and set fire to combustible items. Really these things, um, be very wary of them for decoration only really. It's just common sense really with regarding candles uh, and, and my, my advice would be, if you're going to use candles, be very aware of putting them on combustible surfaces such as baths. If you put, say, a tea light on a, on a surface like that, it's likely to melt into it and it can actually set the fat bath on fire. Um, if you put them on windowsills, make sure there's no draft where it's going to blow the thing over or make the flame blow into something combustible like a, like a voil or a curtain. Make sure that there's no kids or pets because they're likely to knock them over. But the main thing is, is not to leave them unattended. Uh, always ensure that they, they're extinguished correctly, not using a liquid, just blown out. Um, and it, the more you put out, the more it's likely that you're going to sort of forget about one or two of them. So just keep the numbers down to a minimum if you can.